Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Matt in the kitchen again, and this will officially be the first time I will be going, uh, I will be recording from beginning to end a homebrew that I'm doing today. Now, this is uh, the fourth homebrew that I worked on. The first one was good, the second one was bad, the third one was pretty good, and I'm hoping that the fourth one will be even better. And in this homebrew, I'm doing a kind of an interesting, I haven't really seen anything on it about from a uh, other home brewers or anything like that trying it or doing it. I'm sure they have, but I haven't read about it. I'm doing a apple pie brown ale. And uh, I'll take you right back here in one second to show you the basic ingredients that I'm using in this home brew. So, see you in a minute. All right, I'm back. Now, this is the uh, my kind of setup area, my table. Basic ingredients I'm using. Apps, you know, of course, I have water here. It's regular Publix uh, drinking water I'm using. I'm also using cinnamon. I will be adding Irish moss to this. The yeast that I'm using, I was kind of up in the air about what yeast to use, but I'm actually using, as you can see here, American ale yeast. Now this is liquid yeast. So a little bit more expensive than your regular yeast, but uh, from everyone, everybody tells me it's good. I'll be adding some vanilla to this. Brown sugar, of course. And here I have, um, I already have this in a bag. I'll show you the bag in a minute. This is a uh, chocolate malt and then two row, uh, two row green. Uh, two row grain. And then I'm also going to be using Northern Brewer Hops and East Kent Golding Hops. And then over here is my bag that I already have set up. And I've also added oats to this, like oatmeal. So it's oats, uh, chocolate malt, and the two row grain. And then back here I'm doing a combination of two different uh, malt. I'm using, I have light malt here, and then I have dark malt extract in here. I'm going to use about a total of about three, three and a half pounds. And I'm not quite filling my pot all the way up to five gallons. I'm only going to do about three and a half gallons uh, for my starter wort and then I'll add um, at the end to the carboy the rest of the uh, the water. And then here I'm using apples, fresh cut apples. Here I'm using Red Delicious and then I happen to just pick up a Gala apple. So I'm using Gala and uh, like I said Red Delicious. Now this is going to go in near the end of the boil and I'm also going to do a double, I'm going to do a second, secondary fermentation of more apple later on after the initial fermentation ends. So uh, that's the ingredients and I will see you guys in a minute when I'm, I guess, getting the, uh, the malt started and stuff like that. Alright, and I'm back and I've added my malt, my light and dark malt to the uh, mixture. You can see it's super, super, super thick right now. So. At the moment, I'm just kind of stirring it up, trying to get all the chunks out of here. Like I said before, I'm using the dry malt as opposed to the liquid, so there is a little bit more of a risk of actually getting chunks in there and everything like that. So I'm going to bring this uh, malt uh, concoction up to a boil, and then I'm going to start my 60-minute boil as soon as this gets back up to a boil, and I add my first addition of hops, which the first one I'm going to add are uh, East Kent Golding hops. And then near the end of the mixture, I'm going to be adding uh, Northern Brewer hops. So I guess I will probably see you guys near the end of the boil, near the, near the end of the 60 minutes, when I start to uh, let this thing cool down. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, and I'm back, and it's an hour later, just about uh, since the malt and everything like that. So here is the not finished beer but this is the beer I just took it off the stove letting it uh, cool down for a little bit just did a little whirlpool in it and then over here are the apples that I used so um, these were already added I didn't do a video or added anything to see the apples added or anything but take my word for it apples were added to this also to the brew pot there were uh, cinnamon and I also added vanilla like I said before earlier and so I'm just waiting for this thing to cool down a little bit more, and then I'm going to add it to a uh, little cool bath, a little cool ice bath. Get it down to about 70 degrees, 75 degrees, and we'll be just about ready to add the yeast in a little bit. So we'll see you guys back at the yeast edition. Alright, and I'm back again, and I have uh, put my beer in the carboy here. Uh, and I also did some calibration too to make sure I got it up. This is a 5 gallon mark, this is a 7 gallon car carboy. So I have to right there to fill it up. It's looking nice and brown right now, and here's all the gunk that's kind of left over. I left some beer in here too. I just didn't want to get a lot of the uh, garbage and everything like that caught in the uh, in the carboy, so I figured there's a little collateral damage. 
And uh, yeah, we are just about ready to uh, fill this thing up with a little bit more water, do a gravity check, pitch the yeast, and we'll be good to go. So I'll see you guys back at the gravity and uh, pitching uh, checkpoint. All right, and I'm back with my beer in the hydrometer right now. And it looks like on the scale right here, if you can read it on the camera, I don't know if you can or not. There we go, it's a little better. Right now it's a little bit under 1.030 right now, which means, I believe here on the side, because it gives you a, that's the initial gravity, so. Mind you, I have not done this before. This is my first time doing this. And according to this right here, on the side, I guess it kind of gives you the what it might be ABV wise, alcohol, the alcohol in it at some point. And right now it's a little bit above five right now. So, still got a ways to go, but uh, I'm going to pitch yeast at this point now, and that's the hydrometer. So, 1.030 is the actual gravity right now. So, we'll check on a little bit. All right. So we got our uh, airlock on here, got our beer in here, the yeast has been pitched. We are just about at around, I'd say about four and a half gallons right now in the, in the uh, carboy. And that's about it, so we're going to let this thing do its thing with the yeast and probably check back on it in a few weeks. And that's about it, so that's the homebrew of Matt. Hopefully this thing turns out good. We'll see in a, in a, in a month. Well, I actually taste it, but have a better idea in the next few days whether the yeast is going to cooperate or not, too. So we'll see you guys later. So take it easy.